anything I do, I, I feel like I always have to give 100% of myself to it. So, you know, in a way I would say it's very true to, to who I am at the core, because if it wasn't, I don't think I would be able to go out there and do it like that. Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show. Welcome to Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Of course, I'm your girl, Stephanie Hardy, host and creator of the Hardy Wrestling Podcast and host and writer for Wrestling Talk. But I'm alone. I'm here with my tagging partner, Katrina Lake of NCAT. And so I have we bring to you the fabulous and unique Foxy Fierce from WOW Superheroes. How are you, Foxy? Hello. I am so good. Thank you for asking. And thank you for having me. Of course. Like, we have loved you since we've seen you on WOW Superheroes, since we've also seen you wrestle live um, uh, and at Comic-Con LA. And just we've just loved your spirit and everything that you embody as a superhero. So we're just happy to have you. So the first question I want to ask is, when did you fall in love with wrestling? Yeah, so it's been sort of a journey. You know, I remember being really into it when I was younger. I had an older brother who was very athletic and into sports, and he was into wrestling. So, you know, I remember just tuning in with him and, uh, you know, just really, really being into it. Um, but, you know, as I got a little older, hit puberty, I wanted to be, you know, stereotypical feminine girly so I kind of fell out with it for a while um but then when I saw the information about wow and that they were having tryouts it kind of like sparked that memory that was in the back of my head and I was like oh wrestling like that I I, I love it like <laughs> I'm a fan so you know because of that I was like well let's try it and you know and I went and here I am. So, and you know, and from that point, actually getting into it myself and, and becoming a wrestler myself, that solidified that love even more. And it made me think, this is why, this is why I loved it all those years ago. One of the things we, we've noticed, like from the first time we saw your ring that come and end to a while was just how fabulous you are. Like the hair, the dress, the, the vibe is all fabulous. And so how much of your personality do you put into your character in WOW? Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like anything I do, I, I feel like I always have to give 100% of myself to it. So, you know, in a way I would say it's very true to, to who I am at the core because if it wasn't, I don't think I would be able to go out there and do it like that. So, I mean, not to toot my own horn and be like, oh, I'm so bad. But yeah, I mean, that is very true to me. You know, I've always been into the fashion and the beauty and, you know, combining that that grace, that poise, that fierceness, that beauty with that strength, that tenacity. Um, and, you know, it's really in the name. It's the foxy the cute, the pretty, and the fierce, the strong, the, the power. So, yeah. Yes, and it seems very authentic, like, and that's one of the main things that we do love about you um, and your personality on WOW Superheroes. So when you began training um, to become a superhero, what was the best lesson that you learned um, during your training? Hmm, that is a great question. I think... The willingness to try is one of the lessons that I learned early on. Um, and, you know, I feel like in general, I'm a pretty explorative person and I, you know, I'm willing to, you know, see before I make a judgment about something to see how it goes. But I think wrestling kind of um, hammered that point home even more for me because I found myself being amazed with the things that I was able to do that, you know, from the outside looking in, you know, that little voice might be like, oh, you, you better not. Like, I don't know if you can do that. But once you just give yourself over and like are willing to try something, to just take that first step, you can see amazing results. As I'm a person who wears like 20 hats and do maybe many things. Uh, 
before I guess wrestling and before you decided to kind of get back into it and start to do the audition for WOW Superheroes, what was some things you kind of had dreams of doing prior to getting into wrestling? Yeah, well, I think one of the things that actually led me to WOW was some of the other, I guess, athletic and fitness related work that I was doing. Um, I'm a certified yoga and acro yoga instructor, and I was also doing um, professional commercial roller skating prior um, to trying out for WOW. So coming from that background, it kind of felt like a very natural transition um, that I think, you know, has really worked to my advantage overall. <laughs> And with your yoga um, experience, which is something that I really do love that is represented in terms of a ways, a way of athleticism, because a lot of people sort of underestimate that and make it seem like it's just like a flimsy thing. But in actuality, it's something that keeps you nimble and it keeps you focused. Right. So what spiritual um, factors of yoga do you apply to your wrestling? Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you asked that. I absolutely love that question. Um, because I, any time before I'm going to go into the ring, before I have a match, I always, I always center myself, like, you know, and I know other people have their own ways of warming up and getting ready. And, you know, of course I'll do a little physical, whatever, but I really utilize my yoga background as a tool to get into a sort of meditative state, state, um, and to center myself before going out there, because, you know, there is, there's a lot of <laughs> stimulus, there's life, the crowd, you know, the sound, all of it. Um, but I find that just taking some time uh, to do my little sun salutations and just breathe, it really uh, centers me, gets me in touch with my body so that I'm ready to go out there and do what needs to be done. I love that. So during your uh, superhero spotlight, you kind of mentioned that your family kind of instilled excellence, confidence in you from a young age, which is something that's so important, especially being like Black women, just to make sure we kind of always be confident in what we do. And so how did they feel when you kind of express wanting to kind of get into wrestling and going into a product that's like super uh, entertaining, but also kind of showcase the women in a way that's not typical for women's wrestling how do they feel about you wanting to kind of break into wrestling um yeah so my dad and and my brother they both have um, a background in martial arts and you know actually doing that competitively so you know from that point of view they were kind of like okay that's cool um, but my mom, on the other hand, if I'm being honest, she was a little bit like, oh, my baby, no, <laughs> like, we can't have you getting, at, getting beat up out there. <laughs> However, once I told them, you know, this is something that I am really, really passionate about, um, and this is something I see myself being happy doing, you know, they were there for me 100%. And, and that's the kind of family I have like you know they they want to watch out for you so they will <laughs> you know give you admonish you a little bit or check in a little bit but you know once you say no please like I got it then they're like biggest fans biggest supporters that's wonderful that they were able you know to support you and love you through it even though of course I'm more than sure that when you might get beat up they kind of want to jump over and just be like nah and be protective um I'm more than sure they I'm glad that they are still very supportive of you in following your wrestling dream so you've listed your family as you know inspiration to you in terms of teaching you for greatness but who are some um black women of the past in wrestling that you look to for inspiration Great question. So I, as soon as I started wrestling and with anything I pursue, I want to know the the context, the historical context of the arena that I'm entering into. So, you know, I watched some great documentaries, did my research to really get the history of Black women in wrestling. Um, And from that, I I learned about so many influential figures, uh, you know, Ethel Johnson, Babs Wingo, Marva Scott, Kathleen Wembley, you know, I could go on, um, but just hearing about their journeys and how hard they had to fight just to do something that they were passionate about when other people in the same arena had it so much easier, you know, it's just truly inspiring and it it makes you really grateful, you know, that these women 
despite what was going on in the world around them, despite the insurmountable challenges they may have faced, they kept pushing, kept pushing forward so that me and, and all the other Black girls, young Black women coming up behind them could see themselves in that space. I love that you mentioned that because I feel like that's a lot of the times those women are not there's some that's talked about, but a lot of the times it's kind of glossed over a bit about a lot of the struggles that they did have to just do something they loved, like wrestling. And they were amazing at it, which then now leads me, I guess, to my question. Like, I always say as a Black woman, we kind of have to work twice, three times as hard to kind of showcase our fabulousness and all the things that we know how to do and do well. Uh, and so have you had any, like, I guess, struggles with, I guess, adjust, like going into the wrestling world, knowing that we kind of always got to be on our A game or even with your yogi teaching or when you were skating, was there any like situations where it was a little bit tough to kind of get through that knowing we kind of always have to make sure we're a hundred percent on point, no matter what we do? Yeah, I, I think that's something that factors into every black woman's life, every black person's life to, to be frank. Um, and I think it's a bit of a blessing, but also a burden um, because it is nice to reach your full potential, but it can be mentally taxing, emotionally taxing to kind of feel this pressure coming at you, not only internally, but externally, where it's like, okay, I got to be, like you said, 200%, 300% better just to get to the same place that some of my other counterparts might get to doing 50% of the work, you know? So... It is something that that influences the way that I train, um, the way that I live my life in all aspects. Um, you know, I guess it, it's just it's just something we deal with. I I look forward to the day when it's just enough to be you. You know, um, but until then, I try and use it to my advantage um, and just think of it as bringing out the best in myself. Absolutely. You said like a whole word right there. Um, and I appreciate that as a Black woman who does work really hard myself in wrestling media and in all facets of my life, I try to show up to be the best that I can be, but sometimes it does get taxing. But at least you know that through it all, you've earned everything and every bit of success that you have. And in earning success, we like to go back to WOW. Um, and lately, you know, when you started on WOW, you were a single star, but now now you've been tagging with Chantilly Chella. So how has the transition of being a from being a single star to a tag team star um, has been? How has that been? Well, working with Chantilly is just fantastic. I mean, she's so knowledgeable and just her years of experience. Um, anytime I work with her, I feel like I'm I'm learning something new. I'm honing in on my wrestling skills even more. So you know, honestly, it's been a pretty smooth transition because, you know, when you're paired with someone who's so talented and so willing to help you out on your journey, I mean, it, it just makes it a fun experience and a learning experience. So, you know, overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. We love pairing. I think you guys are actually really fun together. I, I love the dynamics, just high energy, like super like energetic, the crowds into it. But if you could team with somebody else that wasn't Chantilly, is there anybody that kind of like, hmm, I wouldn't mind teaming with them in a while? Oh, you're asking the serious questions today. <laughs> well, I mean, as a person that's always going for it, always trying my best, always going for that title. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want to be up there with the champions. And I mean, there is no greater champion than the beast. So there we go. <laughs> We'll see. Hopefully, we make definitely. It that would be a really cool. That would be a really cool team. So, with the Wow Gauntlet match on the horizon, um, is it your personal goal to qualify for that match and become the Wow World Champion? Even though you were talking about tagging with Chantilly Chella, do you have that one big time? Oh yeah, yeah. I think you know that's always a goal. You know. Like we've been saying throughout, you're always trying to do um, to up your personal best, um, and you are there to to win that championship. So while I do enjoy um, my time as a tag team, I am always keeping that end goal in mind and why I'm here. And you know, I'm here to, of course, showcase 
um, my athleticism and, and get out there and wrestle and be a positive influence for um, young girls and boys looking up. But, you know, to, to really nail that, bring it all the way home, you know, I got to get that championship. So I'm hoping to qualify. I mean, I would love to see it. <laughs> I mean, so I love your tag team work, but I actually, it's all always great for us, especially as uh, women who watch WOW. But when we see other Black women, like, yes, <laughs> but it's a little, little extra, you know? So oh. I think it would be something like if that happens, we would be like hyping it up like extra on the uh, after show <laughs> just because you're just like, again, fabulous. But to kind of see another Black woman just kind of shining is always extra bonuses for us as viewers of well well I appreciate it look and I, I feel the same way I'm rooting for everybody black so <laughs> there we go <laughs> absolutely well see for your sister you're happy having you on Women's Wrestling Talk, um, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet so please tell everybody where they can find and follow you on social media yeah, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Foxy Fierce underscore wow. And of course, you can follow us on Women's Wrestling Talk at um, on Instagram and Twitter at www.talkpod and our website at www.talkpod.com. This has been Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet with Katrina and Stephanie. Bye, y'all. Women's Wrestling Talk the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet.